Well, welcome everyone. Let me switch the camera. Hello, we'll be doodling together again. And today we have Lara and Miguel. Um, I think we are doing very nice progress right now because uh, look at this beautiful row of uh, all the doodles. I'm, uh, I'm very excited. I, <laughs> yeah, I really love this format. It just gives me so much satisfaction to fill this in. Um, so welcome everyone, and uh, if you are joining us live, welcome. Please uh, say hi in the chat, and you know, tell us your name and where you are. Um, it just makes me feel better when I know that uh, there are other people watching and dueling together with us. Um, so uh, just a few of uh, housekeeping. Uh, if you haven't done it before, I have the link on the screen where you can print out this. Cal well, it's not a calendar, but a grid of 30 uh, blocks with the words on it. Um, if you don't have a printer, you can just draw the grid by yourself. It's not necessary. It's a part of your creative exercise to create the grid. And then all you need really beyond that piece of paper is a pen. I do not allow pencils in my drawing or sketch noting. Uh, um, workshops because then uh, that way you don't backtrack. You actually just move forward and realize that, hey, I can do this. You don't just keep regretting. Um, and of course, if you have color pencils, if you have markers, I have my Copic markers, um, any other equipment you want to use, that is up to you. You can do that. And oh, hello, Lisa. I'm going to uh, click on that. I'm always very excited when uh, I see people on the live stream. So hello, Lisa. Uh, welcome, welcome. And uh, let me also put this on the screen right now, which is at the end, what we'll do is everybody will take a picture of their doodle and then post it on Twitter with the hashtag doodle together, or you can reply to my tweet so I can find it. Um, and then I'll put it on screen share so that we can all see what each other do. Um, I think that's almost the most fun part because everybody's interpretation is different everybody will do something different and we can learn from each other uh, so today it's going to be challenging uh, because today the prompt is icon and i'm not quite sure what to uh, draw to represent icon uh, but i'll do my usual thing which is to do a uh, google image search and show you kind of the process of how i develop what to draw uh, so let me switch to screen share so you can see what I do. Um, can get rid of this and then can show the screen and I can exit out of this slideshow. Okay. Need bigger. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure if I just search for icon, what will happen? I guess I can try. Let me hide this so, yeah, it's not blocking the view. Icon. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what I expect. It's uh, either one icon or a row of icons. Um, I'm going to try the noun project and see if it gives me something more interesting. I could do a row of icons, I suppose. Um, let's see. I, the, yeah, if you don't know the uh, noun project, I love it. It's a um, collection of icons. Um, and the reason why I like it is because icons are very simplified drawings. So if I'm sketch noting, I need to do something quick to represent a concept. Um, this is great. Uh, but it's a bit meta to search for icon on a site that serves your icons. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. This is exactly what I was expecting. Not quite sure if that's what I want to do, uh, but I have a backup, which is a religious icon. Because I think if you are, um, I don't know, going to a Catholic church, that it means something. Not, not quite sure graphically what it means, but I'm gonna search for that religious icon. Yeah, okay. This is what I was thinking. Let me see if I do clip art, if there's something that is manageable. I'm not quite sure if I can manage a religious drawing. That sounds really uh, daunting. 
type clip art. Wow, okay, completely different. Um, mm, uh, okay, like I said, this will take a while today. I'm not, they don't really, oh yeah, okay. I guess religious icon just become icon re representing religion. And at that point it's not representing the concept icon anymore. Tricky, tricky. All right, so, okay, I'm gonna scroll a little bit and see. Yeah, this is really, No, okay, let me see if I can do religious icon cartoon, if that will help. Nope, that is not helpful either. All right. Um, so one other thing that I was thinking about is I remember there was, I don't know how to search for it. So basically there's a painting that someone helpfully restored and it become like monkey jesus i'm not quite sure if that's the search term they'll bring it up so I'm going it was to... in spain actually it was in spain okay yeah 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 you know what i'm talking about Excelmo. Right? it's oh, Excelmo, yeah. the name okay uh let me just see <laughs> monkey jesus bring it up otherwise you can tell me how to spell that okay yeah oh, okay um, was it called monkey no that's how people call it yeah oh, wow i don't know if this count as an icon um Hmm, this is not quite what I was expecting. Okay, so I think what I may attempt is, I basically I want something with a halo around, um, but then I don't know if it counts as sacrilege if I make it like kawaii style. Um, you know, okay, this is this is brainstorming. I should, I should just like free flow. Let me see if I can do, um, I don't think I can add kawaii at the end. I don't think that will work. <laughs> well, kind of. How about kawaii Jesus? Like, this is getting really bizarre. I hope this is not offensive. I don't know. Oh, wait, this is very kawaii, but not really icon. How about this? I think what I'll do is I'll take this Jesus um, cartoon and then I'll add a halo around his head. I think that will work as a... Um, as a icon, mm, my interpretation. I, I would love to see what you two uh, end up doing. So, oh, maybe this image. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'll switch my view to my camera. Uh, what is, okay, here, switch. Okay, then to put the icon box in view and zoom. Okay. Okay, I will uh, make my drawing view a bit bigger. Yeah, so you can see. Shift it here. All right, so I think I just want the head and a little bit of the rope so it's just a portrait let's see first um i'll just draw the face and then we'll add the beard Something like that. And then a bit of the hair. The ears. And the hair is a little bit curly. Then I'll have the sash like this. And then just the continuation of the shoulder. Okay. Um, then I need to add the halo around. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want the halo to uh, 
black color. So I'll start with a uh, yellow color and then we'll see. So add a halo around. Okay, something like that. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and color the face first because otherwise um, I'm not patient enough to, to wait for the uh, the, the marker to dry and then it all smudges. So I'll just go ahead and have that colored in. Actually, I, may, I may color the whole thing and then come back to add the face. Okay, so um, the sash is pink. I don't know why the sash is pink, but okay, I will make it pink. Mm, the hair needs to go a bit more, otherwise the sash is uh, rubbing. So, the hair here. Yeah, right now, just because the hair is long, I feel like I'm drawing a girl, but I will add the beard and hopefully that will make it clear. Right now, not very precise in the coloring. Add the edge a bit more. I'm always tempted to add like texture to hair and then my Copic um, range jumps too fast. So I think this time I'll not use my darkest brown and hopefully the texture will show but not too much. Okay, and then um, we'll add the face. I'm a bit not sure how to do that. How about I add the beard? Something like this. Thicken it a little bit, then the nose, and the eyes. And the mouth. Okay, I think I need everything thicker, thicker eye brows. Bigger eyes and the beard. Okay, I think I do want it a bit darker because of the way the bottom is got darker on the beard. So just a little bit darker. Okay. And I'll use this as a little highlight, not too much. All right, speaking of highlights, this one trick I like is to have a darker color underneath the hair, to give it some dimension. Okay, um, then I need to fill in the halo. the rope being white and the background also white so 
I need to decide whether I want to color the background or give the rope some color. Hmm, okay, I'm going to uh, do more research and see what other rope I can have him wear. Maybe I can look at last dinner and see what shows there. So switch views. And see, search for last dinner painting. Okay. Let's see what Jesus wears in the, the, la oh, the last supper. Excuse me. Some baby say, aha, all right. Oh, wow. Okay. So red rope with blue, um, blue, like, I don't know if it's a sash, the thing on top. So I guess I can. Reverse the color and have the blue. It's really small. Come on, give me bigger. Yeah, I think that will work. I think I'll give him a dark blue um, rope. Because, yeah, the, I don't know, the white. I could, I could also make the background some other color. Hmm, let me take the blue rope first and then see. Click, click. It's not working. Okay. I'm just trying to uh, make my drawing big again. So, yeah. Okay. Maybe like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I like it. So more interesting. And then the sash, I'm going to add a little bit more texture. Okay, mm -hmm. pretty good, pretty good. All right, now I'm going to switch back to see if my original image search turned up with like the religious icon search to see if there is anything in the background that I could incorporate here. Uh, so, really, just icon images. Okay, it's kind of like you can do a sky. Uh, a golden or like a pattern I think I, I don't think I have room for pattern let's take a look yeah mostly those are my choices there's a oh there's a light green one mm, okay I don't know maybe less is more maybe I'll just leave it like that Okay, 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 I'll, I'll uh, resist the temptation to mark with it. So let me just switch back to this view. And uh, once again, a little bit of extra shading and shadows. Well, not really shadows, shading. Okay, all right, I think I am happy with my icon. I'm going to go ahead and post it on Twitter. So I'll switch my view so you can see me. And, uh, and uh, you don't need to see me post stuff on Twitter. So I'm going to just make Lara and Miguel bigger so you can see what they did. And, uh, you know, if you want to explain um, while I try not to breathe and not shake. I can go first because I already tweeted. Oh, cool. uh, also, then Miguel can can tweet meanwhile. So the first thing I, I think of when I think of icons are app icons. So that's what I wanted to to represent. It just I felt it, it was too boring, <laughs> and I needed to to find a way to make it more cute. And the only thing I could think of was to uh, have like some nice background and some shade 
um, shadows in the in the icons, but that's all I could think of today. <laughs> Yeah, religious icon is kind of one step away from what I normally think of as icons. <laughs> Thanks. I will tell the designers. <laughs> it's nice. And what I did was to think about art and icons. So what will be an icon for an app for drawing? And I found some examples and, and I went with one kind of copying it a little bit. So I made a, an icon for an app, but it's for drawing. So mm -hmm. everything gets on topic mm -hmm. with this. Ah. Cool. All right, I am going to uh, try to pull up your tweets and then um, tweet my own and of course uh people who are drawing with us live if you can also share that would be lovely all right so twitter and um i hope i get a notification because that will make it easier yes okay and then let's switch to screen share All right. Ooh, okay. So we have Lara's icon. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, the, the shading didn't really come through when I was looking through your camera, but that looks really good, actually. I really Thanks. like the, mm -hmm. the, the bell. Like, oh, it looks so nice. I made the mistake of using this color, which is like transparent colorless blender mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. And I had to touch, re, do some retouches in, in the icons, but I, I, I'm glad it, look, it looks, it looks okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm, I'm just posting my tweets. I'll be there soon uh, in a halo, with a halo, yeah, doing the alt text. All right, so tweet. Next, let's see what else do we have. Ooh, we have Ben drawing. Let's see what it is. Ha! Oh, and other interpretation of icon. I guess icon as in someone who is uh, like a big personality. You, you sh maybe you, you can explain yourself in the chat if I'm not interpreting it the properly. Uh, but uh, interesting. I like the, the stroke work. It's, uh, it's very cool. I, like, I, like this is the style that I don't know how to do, like with no outline and just do the strokes. Um, but this is really cool. All it's right, awesome. mm -hmm. yeah, I love it. Thank you, Ben. Let me uh, go to the next one. Okay, I should click on the hashtag and click on latest. All right, Lisa. Ooh, rabbit! Oh, nice. I love it. I love it. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> it's, the, it's the phone screen with a lot of apps, but they are all rabbits, rabbits, <laughs> like R B T Z. And of course, like um, the uh, chat on the bottom, like a different app has a notification on, as we all do. That's always incoming. With, with, and with the hand holding it, this is so amazing. Thank you, thank you, Lisa. All right, I'm going to go back and um, scroll and let's look at Miguel's. Nice, I, interesting. I, I felt like um, the shadow behind the icon make it really jump from the page. It's it pretty does. cool, yeah. 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 Nice. So this icon, is it a particular app? I'm, I'm not familiar with uh, this icon. Not really. I think it was on a, on our website, like 53 icons. For oh, that. okay. And then I picked the one that I like the most. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's uh, that, that my usual way of figuring things out. So I have a menu of all the different things and then pick one I like. Oh, yeah. And then this one is the one I did. Um, which is uh, a religious icon. 
Let me see. Okay, cool. Um, going to switch back to. Uh, it's very confusing because I keep trying to click on the screen shared screen and like I can't click on. I have to click on my own computer actually. <laughs> so it's very confusing. Cool. All right, that was super fun. Um, well, and challenging. Like icon is just. It's so abstract already. Like it's really hard to represent such an abstract concept. You should use icon to represent other abstract concepts. Uh, but cool. This is this is so fun. Um, and I'm so happy that uh, I get to see doodles from um, other people who are watching the live stream. Um, and I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my interpretation of icon. I my uh, very trustworthy technique of kawaii pulled through today. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, it's always like that, like or at least for me, like maybe other people have more experience drawing that they have a good sense of what they can expect themselves to do, but I don't. Like I, I, I come in and I, I want I have a goal and then I, I try to come up with something and then it, it evolves. So well, so far I'm pretty happy. All right, I'm just uh, clicking in case there's some other drawings. Um I think I think that's it for today. Um, thank you so much, Laura and Miguel, for uh, showing with me live on the live stream. So let me just make sure that I bring up your Twitter handle so in case people would like to follow you and see your other work and buy turnips. I, I still haven't figured out the turnip situation um, because I don't have a switch. So I'm like, OK. The stock people, market of turnips. We can talk. Yeah. <laughs> people apparently have a lot of uh, advanced technology to keep track of uh, mm -hmm. the turnip prices. So um, so if uh, other people also play Animal Crossing, they probably have a better idea what is that. But um, they, they tweet other stuff as well. So drawings, Android, um, Lily, the dog. Is Lily here today? Oh, yeah. Uh, she left at some point. But in oh. the beginning, she started making um, noise. Making noise because there was a fly. <laughs> oh yes, yes, of course. Very important to uh, yeah mm. acknowledge the fly. <laughs> yeah, at least she was trying to do something. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Um, it was fun doodling together. So I'll see you next. Well, I'll see Lara and Miguel live next week. But Friday is the next doodling or oh, Saturday if you're in Asia, because uh, I do Friday. Uh, night time in America. And um, I look forward to these. These are just so much fun. And uh, I forgot how much I like drawing. <laughs> so this is a good way to keep myself on a schedule. All right, then. Take care, everyone. Thank you so bye. much. Bye. Bye-bye.